Welcome back to another episode of Boys Love His Man Free Trapped. Oh my god. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Boys Love History 3 Trapped. Yeah. Uh, we're recapping the greatest show on earth. The greatest show ever made. The greatest story ever written. A lot of people are not doing well. What does that mean? Because Brazil's off the internet? Bye, Brazil. Bye, Brazil. A moment of silence. This For- is, we're clearly recording ahead of time. Ahead of time, but yes. Uh, as of recording, as Braz- of recording Brazil's kicked just off Just got Twitter. Thanos out of Twitter. I made a threads. You did. Who knows? In solidarity. Who use it. We are here to talk about episode five of History Three Trap. We're at the halfway point. We are at the halfway point of the season, and things are getting. It's hot. so funny when we first started. We were like, "When the fuck is the BL going to start?" And when, now, and now I'm like, "When's the plot going to finish?" Because <laughs> <laughs> how is the plot going to wrap up? Yeah, we left the last episode with a potential blowjob about to happen. Yeah. Brother, brother, duh, 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 and, and Xiao, Xiao Fei, Fei are both have, so shocked by what they alliance. are about to witness yeah. that they burst into the office. And I was prepared for, for him it to, to be, be like, like, "Oh my, oh, dro- I dropped my, phone. I dropped my phone." No, Ooh, he was literally no. face first in his crotch, just like bonk, bonk, bonk. Yeah, yeah. So that was. 100% what was about to happen. He called him a tramp. Well, first of all, Andy was like, Ugh. What is that? What is that? S- foul stench. It's sour vin- So sour vinegar. The smell so of sour jealousy. Sour vinegar. Yeah. The smell of jealousy. Uh-huh. And Shaofei was like, um, It's. And you know what's stinkier? The smell <laughs> of. <laughs> the smell of a tramp. The smell of a Close your legs, whore. Close your legs to married men. Everyone is clocking Xiao Fei. Every oh, yes. single person Everyone is, is like, like, girl. Oh, you're into him. Police. Right. Bitch. Um, you want to suck his... <laughs> so anyway, after Sometimes that, I forget that children watch this. Yeah. We... <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> And we've been confronted. And we've been confronted. We've been like, not, oh yeah. yeah, not confronted. But they're like, oh yeah, all of our, our kids love what my child and I enjoy watching this together. And we're like, oh. horrors, oh. horrors, ho- ho- and horrors on the show, Andy allegedly, yeah, and we support. So they go out to eat afterward. Duga finish the three of them. Right, Tang Yi, Xiao Fei, Duga. They all go out to eat. Duga finishes first. He like leaves and he like like looks at them like he's like, Ugh, I can't believe. There's there's the moment where Xiao Fei's like, This I has to this stop. This has to because stop because it's for your safety. It's for your safety. Uh, I'm worried about, you know, you having a hit out on you. And now I also have to worry about crimes of passion because Andy's in a relationship. I mean, you're putting too much pressure on me, darling dear. Whatever you need to, to tell yourself. To tell yourself whatever you need. And then he drinks his coke. You're sick. He's learning from He's the lear- blah, 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 They're blah, learning blah, blah, blah. to love each other. But they're then, learning to love and to laugh. But then Chef is like, my spit is, a, is all up in that coke. Yeah, that was a weird part of that. That's what I'm saying. They're horny. And he keeps drinking. And Chef is like, let me pour you some more. Yes. They want to swap spit. That's what they're... I'm just repeating what happened on the show. Why don't you all cancel him? Why is it always me? Um, Meanwhile... Meanwhile, over at the house... Over at the B-couple. Leon is... Uh, setting up security setting up cams. additional security for the perimeter just of the busy, It's just busy work. It's just busy work. To get him in the house. To get him in the house. He... There's like one of the guys comes over, one of the brothers comes I, over and like goes to put a ladder in a ladder place. for him. Blah, blah, blah. And he is, Leon is like, titmatized. <laughs> his like tongue <laughs> rolls out of his mouth. <laughs> awooga, awooga. Yeah, it's full cartoon. 
for this man's breasts. And okay, which they're this is not even. I, they're can not I, even. This is what I. This is my issue. Not issue, but like this is my. I men's chests. Yeah, I think they're horrible. Um, I love the bazoomers of a woman. Um, <laughs> this man is wearing a black suit with a black shirt, and it's not tight. tight. It's not. It's no. fitted, but it's mm-hmm. not tight. Mm-hmm. You can tell he's like slim. Yeah, but it's not like oh, he's clearly a, and he's not a big guy either. He's not like a big brawny guy either. He looks at him and he's like, "Holy fuck, your your body is." banging bro that's the whole vibe of the scene and then this moment happens later with jack where jack's like oh you love big tits here feel Feel these knockers (laughs) and then he like puts his hand on him and leon's like i've never even noticed that you look like this meanwhile jack is wearing a skin tight white t-shirt currently and has done so previously yeah have you just not been looking Jack very clearly is like, yeah, brawny. Not uh, not as brawny. Not as, as brawny as how he is in the book. How he is in his in his, in his later in work. His, <laughs> yes, in his literary work. In his li- yes. yes, as an author. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you get those pages unstuck? By the way, no, there's it's still stuck together. That's why I can't open it anymore. <laughs> There's someone, someone on our Patreon keeps being like, I'm going to ask every week for I'm you to show us, you show every, us page every page, of this, page of this book. You can probably find it online already. I know, but I, oh, the scans? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure. There's, high like, a Twitter, qua, high there's res. like a Twitter thread I sure, think sure, that sure. you can find. But, but the, we wanted to support the artists. So yeah, so that's the whole point of the scene. The point of the scene is Leon loves... The male hard, form, the hard body of a man, and he's like, "What? I've seen men before." But it before. is not played like it's like, "Oh, it's because he's gay." Like it's no, so it's like, "Wow, that's amazing." Your tits I, are I try to work out and like nothing happens. Yes. Like I just look like he's boiled talking, chicken when he's I. He's literally blah. talking about like they're talking about like Roblox. Yes, like it's so. <laughs> <laughs> like they're like, wow, you got to level ninety three of yeah, Fall yeah. Guys. Whoa, like it's <laughs> not Fall Guys. Honestly, Leon is like me. I want to say like ten years ago, like when I was first like. Just let's amazed. be. Let me be honest, okay? Let me Andy be honest. Okay, sorry, that was great. Crack my. You crack I, yourself. I, you up. gotta make yourself laugh at the end of the day, kiddies. When I was in college. And I had broken up with my boyfriend at the time. Previous boyfriend, my high school boyfriend, mm-hmm. was like right when Grinder happened, and I was in Chicago, away from my family, on my own, and Grinder existed, and I. <sighs> it was bad. We've talked about it before. RJ yeah. had to step in. I I did. It was that bad. I had to get or the authorities. It was, or it was that. Not the authorities, girl. <laughs> Authority figures. Authority figures were involved, yes. Uh, what was the point of all that? And you were just like, Leon, you were just like. I was just like, Leon, I was taking. Blah, blah, blah. Listen, I was, I too was taking, taking in, the, in the mail for. <laughs> he goes up on the ladder. I go, I said, as we're watching it, he's going to fall off the ladder and Jack's going to catch him. And then and that then literally Jack, happened because I, of course, wrote yes. the show. And then, and then they fall they ante it into up. the water. Into they fell the into the pool. And now we get one of our classic. Classic. <laughs> you're so far away. Our classic stations of the cross. What is it called? Playing in water? Well, it's technically the liminal space of water. But this is not liminal. Well, I mean, I guess it's like. It's liminal. Do you want to just have your own conversation with yourself? It's not liminal, <laughs> but it's more like it's breaking through. It's the threshold. It's but not. It's it's the playing in the water. Playing playing in the water. Yeah. Yes. Yep. So they play in the water. <laughs> Hong Ye comes home and catches them. Hong Ye comes home with Gu Dao Yi, which we finally figured out. Is a name. That's the name of the guy with the glasses. Not the CFO. The consigliere, the CFO, the accountant. The lawyer. The lawyer, the whatever you want to call him, his name is Dao Yi. 
huge, huge to, learn. to us. Huge, huge. Episode five, we finally learned this character. Tell name. me if they've said it before and I just didn't catch it, but I don't think they had. Yeah. I don't think they named him to this point. I think they. The only point they may have done they may it have was said, when like, brother that, Gao or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So she and comes she home and she's in, like, and she's like, who the fuck are these F's in the pool? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally, she's like, another fucking cop and now they're playing in the water? What the fuck is going on in this fucking hen house? Like, she's yeah. so mad. She's pissed. And bitch, I would be too. Yeah. The person who. He he's already um, he already almost died twice, and now there's just police in the house and they're playing in the water. Like, what are we doing? Is, right. Are we in? Incl- Is the circus in town? Then they, she has a scene with Dao Yi, and she's like, "He's like, I don't. You're so stressed about this." And she's like, "Well, I just don't want it to look like we're working with the cops because, like, we need the other mobs to respect us. Like, we need to have, you know, be able to hold our heads high and proud yeah. in the mob community." And, and he's then like, "He was like, but we're coming clean. But we're like getting out of that. Who cares? We're done. Well, that's, that's that's not the our point business anymore. Of all of this, yeah. And which she's I like, was, he was like." Ah. You just don't get it. Well, that isn't right now. So. Yeah, I that was very insightful. I was like, well, he's got a point. They both have points. Because she's also got a point of like, it Why isn't. The fuck they're go- 70% of the way there. That's not 100%. That's true. It's they're not still doing mob We're stuff. still trying to clean. Yeah, it's still. Yeah. Right. So, you, you're, she, they're like, they're the liminal space. They're the they're code switching between good people good and people and bad, bad people. people. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um. So then that conversation ha- ends, and she's like, "Um, well, if you really want to take care of me, why don't you like show? J- why don't you? Why don't you come up? Why and don't you me? come up and f- my some time? Basically. And he is like, "Let me make you some coffee." He like. She puts his hands on her waist and he like It looks like he's about pulls to give away in, from her. And then yes, like he pulls away. And she's clearly upset. Very upset by this. So um So there you go, verified. Because we weren't sure last verified. Week. Verified that she is horny for him. Cool. Uh Tang Yi is gonna go to this he has appointments. And Xiao Fei is going to go with him. He tells Dugu he doesn't have to go. So Xiao Fei accompanies him to the hospital. And the doctor, who again, yes, he's from history too, whatever, I don't care. He's like, hi, um, we have beds here. So that's why we're going to do it here. Don't worry. And the entire setup, the entire setup is like, they're going to fuck. They're fucking. Okay? That's the whole point. Shafei's outside, he's hearing them. All of a sudden, they're moaning, they're groaning, they're like, put some more oil on, make it slippery. Like, in a way that I, it was very clearly. We were like, it's clearly a bit. Not this. But they're really going for it. They, but the joke, sometimes I think like the joke of these shows is like, you, the audience, think it's sex. But like none of the characters in the real world think it's sex. Like it's a joke for the audience. Right, it's for the Which is like, that was like the stay with me thing. Yeah. None of the characters ever acknowledged the like homoeroticism going on. It was like for the yeah. audience to be like, oh, I know what you're doing. This is fully like Xiao Fei is like they're they're having anal sex in there. That's what's going. I'm I'm hearing these things happen. That's the joke. Which ha ha funny. But <sighs> He like barges in. Of course, it's not. That. It's not. He is massaging he's, him. He's giving him an anti soreness massage, or as I would assume, a massage, <laughs> because I think that's the point of massage. Is it not? And he missed. What is the specification? That's like, that's like ATM machine. <laughs> it's redundant. <laughs> anti soreness massage. Oh, okay. As opposed to the massage you do to make yourself sore. Yeah. Got it. So he's learning to do an anti-soreness massage. So he's like, oh, I'm just testing it out on Tang Yi. Tang Yi is like very clearly setting very this up clear. because he kind of knows what's going on. It's so interesting There's for like a this- character to do like, to purposefully set up that like, oh, he think this 
purposely set up the sex jokes in order to make the other person jealous. Yes. Very fascinating. Yeah. So then Xiao Fei is like embarrassed after he's like been wrong or whatever. He drives him home. He drives Tangi home and he's like clearly upset. And he, and Tangi's like, Tangi, why are you so mad? Yes. And Xiao, and Xiao Fei is like, like well, well, I'm mad at myself. For being because upset. I'm, because I'm upset. And you, why the fuck are you having two appointments today of everyone touching you? First Andy. First Andy and now this fucking doctor. All right. Does everyone just get a turn to touch you? And Tangi goes, do you want to turn on these knockers? There's so much about, so much the, about the men's Male chest. pecs in this episode. It's wild. <sighs> it's my favorite episode of all time. It's the best episode of television ever written. <laughs> um... And so he says, go ahead, touch away. And then Xiao Fei's like, ah! Leaves in a huff. Leaves in a huff. Duga, goes to bed. Duga is like, here's your papers. Also, can I fucking talk to you about what the fuck is going on here? Yeah. And he basically says it like, I don't trust him because it's he It's literally looks, not even basically. No, it comes out of his mouth. He literally says, I don't trust him because he looks at you with the eyes that I look at you with. And he, we both want to fuck you. And I had to pause and be like, you I'm can't, so crass this episode. I apologize. You can't have someone like, you can't have someone like that in your payroll. And then no. he immediately says, if you can't control yourself, I will transfer you. I'm going to transfer you to a different department. Yeah. Bitch, you're have leaving fun BL and you're, you're, you're going to in, you're inventory. You're going survival show department. <laughs> That's a funny joke for our Patreon. Um, the next day, Hong Ye is like, well, I am thinking that we have this big land purchase we're going to do. So my idea, okay, Miss Girl, is that we, I go out and see the land to really assess the value of it mm -hmm. because she has now become an assessor. Okay. She has the credentials and everything. Of what being is that assessor. called? It's assessor? It's assessor. Yeah. Okay. So she's like, because I think we're going to pay too much for it. So I want to go see it. So, but I want to take someone, I want to take people with me to like have protection. And so she's like, I want to take Xiao Fei. And he's like, okay. Tangi agrees. And she's like, let's take you on a trial run today. And we'll go shopping. I don't think we're ever going to see this assessor situation. I think it was all it was set just up so, just to just get to the shopping yeah. trip today. Yeah, It was a bit labored in my opinion. But she, they agree. He goes shopping with her. You get we a get a full, full shopping, shopping montage, montage. Trying on clothes. What do you think of this? What do you think of that? Right. They don't like each other. It's very evident. But there was a moment. But it's very goofy. Yeah. I loved it. And there, they did have like some banter back and forth. Had, to, had some great but banter. But I was like, oh my God, what if the show ends and they become besties? And she's clearly upset with, again, Dao Yi is his name. Yes. She's like glaring at him the whole scene. Mm -hmm. They go shopping. Okay. She buys some bras. 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 Buys him some drawers. And she buys him some drawers. Drawers and brawers. Yeah. We're not doing a great job as the mob, like being aware discreet. of our surroundings, being discreet. Parking in, like, the mob in America, the whole thing is like you never put your back to the door. Yeah. You always see who's coming in. Why are you parking on the rooftop of the garage? I just, what are we doing? Okay. So I go upstairs. They're, ha they're having some more banter back and forth, blah, blah, blah. It's insignificant. And then they hear the sound of a gun. So they duck behind. All of a sudden, the scene gets really intense. They tell people to get out of the way. Uh, they look around. Xiao Fei looks around at the cars. And he says, oh, which car <laughs> am I to think that this bullet Gunman, came from? Yeah. Could it be the blue coupe? No. Could it be the minivan, the red mini soccer mom minivan? No, that can't be it. Could, Could it, be it be the, the massive black, black unmarked van? car with super tinted windows? No, can't be. How about the other one over there? How about the old, the Buick Oldsmobile <laughs> down, down? No, none of them. We don't. What, which one possibly could it be? We'll never know. They go, they get up to like run, run into the their car. car 
and, and a lo shot and behold, rings out from the unmarked car. from the unmarked car. Can you believe it? <laughs> the big black unmarked car rolls down its window, and a big black unmarked gun with a big black silencer on the end shoots at Xiao Fei and Hong Ye. Yeah, isn't that crazy? I crazy. never saw this coming. They fall in. There's a pool of blood, and you're like, you don't know. Who, I don't know who got you. You don't, don't know, know what happened. Yeah. They cut then immediately to the hospital. Hong Ye's in bed. She's clearly alive. Hysterical. Hysterical. Tang Yi comes and like holds her. And the doctor's her. like, yeah, he she got a concussion. We did an MRI. She's fine. Just She's a graze. She's fine. Just a graze. Blah, blah, blah. And so I was like, oh. Wow, crazy. Wow, crazy. Which is funny because I immediately thought, oh, he was the one that got shot. Okay. Wow, no, I did not think that at all. Because I'm, again, he wasn't the th- dumbest person alive watching Because he the wasn't show. there. He no, wasn't I the know. Room. I understand that he was not there. So I'm like, oh, he's the one that got shot. And I then, thought she was, I thought it was going to be that he didn't protect her. That that, that was, there that was, was now going to be conflict. I thought what they were intending to happen was what was going oh, to happen. Oh, okay. So then... And the nurse comes. The nurse comes and is like, the surgery's re- prepared. The extra tanks of blood are ready. I didn't need that line. <laughs> the extra blood is ready. And they're like, who, Tangi's like, who's having surgery? And he's like, Xiao Fei. He got shot he in got the shot abdomen. He got shot in the abdomen. And Tangi is like, <gasps> Yeah. And it's drama, girl. It's melodrama. Well, don't worry, because we're cutting to the police. We're cutting to the police marketing agency. So Police PR. <laughs> police PR. So everyone's like, oh, what a great day we're having. The captain keeps getting interrupted and being like, go have Xiao Fei do this. Xiao Fei needs to do all these things. Why isn't anybody contacting Xiao Fei? And then, and then what's her name? Yui? Yuchi, yeah. who's the girl on the, the girl on their team, who like she like runs in in a huff and she's like, ah, "Shell's in, in the hospital!" And they freak out. They run to they the hospital. Run to the hospital. And Captain, the ch- Chief is pissed. Ballistic bitch. Chief is all over Tangi. Like you did this. You did this. Tangi's like, "Don't worry, we'll pay for his medical expenses." I don't really think that's why the captain said that. That's not why the captain is mad. I appreciate your willingness to cooperate. No, it's the fact that it wouldn't Actually, no, Tang Yi didn't say that. It was um, was Dao. It was Dao Yi. Yeah. And like, even uh, Hong Ye was like, no, it's not his fault. It's not his fault. Yeah, it's it's a very intense, dramatic scene. And then. He has the surgery. They're informed that he's out of surgery, but he's recovering. He hasn't moved into general ward yet. They can't see him. Tangi's already Tangi and troop has already left. Mm-hmm. And Captain's like, of course they already left. And they said so they were gonna be be there for him and they already left, blah, 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 blah. Then the captain's like, and as soon as we see him and we get him out of here, we get him home and we get him recovered and back and we'll on start his feet and post, you know. Post recovery, post f- physical therapy, and everything. That's when we're gonna start working on this case. A police, I listen. That whatever. A police officer was just shot by the mob. You can you start, can start working on it now. now. You can start the investigation now. You don't need to be like, well, let's wait and hold off. No, no, no. Let's crack you're the police. open the books. Adam was Let's like, pull out the magnifying glass. You're the police. You can actually start working. You don't all need... Also, sorry, you don't all need to wait for him. You don't all need to do that. Yeah. Okay. That's my... That's my... Okay. Um, but I do like... I do like that this show is like... It's two different families. Mm-hmm. It's the police family, it's the mob the family. Mob I think that's like a smart way to do it. And it is, I'll say it, it's a little it's, queer coded. It's found family. Found family. Um, okay. Back at the house. <sighs> Oof. They have found the guy that shot them? I don't know Again, if it's the somehow? guy that shot him or... It's the guy that shot him. It is? Okay. It's 100% the guy that shot him because he that's where he learns who did it. Who hired him. Who hired him. 
I thought, okay, so you quickly, whatever. I don't want to. Are you going to skip around? Because I thought it's the guy that Brother Duh hired. No, because he tells him Chen Wen. Oh, that wasn't. Him. Yeah, okay. Because Jack said, who did it? Who hired him? Mm-hmm. And he says, Chen Wen Hao. No, that's, but that's, that, Tang Yi said that. And I thought yes. that was from when Andy gave him the, fo- the photo of like, this is the guy that originally tried to kill you and kidnap you no because because brother duh was like i didn't know he was gonna get fucking beat up i wanted to intercede and be like i'll take care of him i'll take care of him he didn't want tangy to like beat him up he wanted to go in there so that way he can tell him like hey what the fuck because he was he but then hired why, him how would jack know that he beat him knows as a because jack has been listening to him take these phone calls remember there was like episodes ago where he would t- silently take these phone calls no, and no, Jack no, no, would no. be following. Why would Jack ask Tang Yi who put out the hit? He doesn't know Jack. He doesn't know Tang Yi got the photo from Andy. I know, but I think that was just him asking like who from the guy that he beat up or just like in general. Like, do you know who it is? I don't think it's... Because why would... Because there's two but, double crossings Because there's happening. two double crossing. That's why it's confusing. Because yeah. why would Brother Duh go so to... Duh, okay, so okay. Here's, the, here's here's what I... Okay, here's definitely let's what try to Let's try to chronologically Go back do and yes. do it. Okay, so Brother Duh was like... Gotta get rid of Shao Fei. Gotta get rid of Shao Fei, right? He's A, the police. He's the enemy. B, he's trying to usurp my love. Yes. So, so he, he asks Hong Ye yes, he to do Hong this Ye ruse in. to be like, can you get him on his own, and then we can try to like we'll get we'll sick a, a we'll guy, with a, a guy bat, with a bat with on a him, bat with on a bat with a bat to make it clear that like he doesn't have what it takes to protect you, and so he shouldn't be here. He at all. shouldn't be here. Okay. And Hong Ye uh, agrees. Yes, that's they do the ruse. A gun is involved now. Now Hong Ye is pissed. Now Hong Ye is pissed. Doug, Brother Doug comes in and is like, I didn't, I, no one no one was supposed to use a gun. That was not my guy. And Hong Ye was like, well, that was that fucking someone. That was not my guy. That was not my guy. The gun. The Right. It's a different guy. I, I think he was saying that was not my guy. I don't think they caught the actual guy. I don't know. I don't know. Will you tell us? Because I think well, who, who. I think there are two guys. Yes. I think there's the guy Dug hired who we don't who we know. We don't know. Because that ha- was supposed to happen was... later. Oh. I don't think that was supposed to be on the roof. Oh, it was like later that day. It would have been later that day or whatever. Or like, yeah. Okay, okay. It would not have been there. But because I, I don't think she would have freaked out as much. But why would have why would he have why would Brother Da have tried to stop Jack from talk or stop Tang Yi from interrogating him? Just because he didn't know that that was... Because he... He didn't know who the guy was? Yeah, he doesn't know all the... Yeah. Okay. You just... You thought there's one guy... I and thought there's two pi- guys. I oh. just thought that Tang... Who they had... They caught the bat the guy? The bat, bat guy. And not the gun guy. That's why he was like, no, 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 I'm sorry, sorry. Because in his mind, it's like, well, yeah, they still think that... But then... But then Tang Yi saying like it's one how. But I, I thought don't it was understand from either because wouldn't the bat guy who aren't you hiring someone? I guess I guess I guess you can go on to Craig's. I guess you can go on to Angie's list and you can really just, just find like, a hit hitman man. for hire. Yeah, yeah. That's why I think he's he was beating up the bat guy because. But wouldn't the bat guy wouldn't he have been like I didn't do nothing. I didn't do anything. Either way. There are two double Who got crossing. beat up? Who got beat up? Please Here's tell us. the Here are the questions we have. Who got, Who beat, got up? beat up? Was it the guy? Was the it gun? the bad guy or the gun guy? Gun guy. And I think that's the that's only it, question that's we it. have. Yeah. Because either way, if it's the bad guy or the gun guy. Oh, and then how? Tang Yi already was Jack's knew- question? Was Jack's question, what did the guy tell you? Or, or what is who, the have you figured out? Yeah, I think he was just saying like, have you figured out who's been trying to do this? Because I think Tang Yi already received the information when he got that picture from Andy. But if because he my, says I knew it was him. But here's my question: Xiao Fei in the episode previously made a, in episode four. He was like, I could it, listen. It could be me that they're going after because all these things he's happening when I'm around you. I don't know. It yeah. could be me. 
And now this thing has happened and it's just him. Right. That's what we thought in the reaction. We were like, I think it is. So I now think, I think they are actually after Xiao Fei. Xiao Fei. So we think it is because he is trying to get to the bottom of four years ago. Right. But Tang Yi does know it's one how. Yes, that's what Jack asks him what who it is, and he says Chen Wen Hao, which is kind of a, a boring letter. Boring, yeah. But, but I think it's fine. But I mean it would be a I would understand Wen Hao trying to get Xiao Fei and it just so happens that Tang Yi is always involved. But in that car scene, Tang Yi, he was asking for information about Tang Yi. So I don't know, girl. Yeah, I don't know. There might be two people. There might be two there might be someone trying to get Tangi and someone trying to get Xiao Fei. But she, Miss Girl, the, the senior officer, she was working with... She was in... The, in cahoots uh, with the people that also died. She's allegedly in cahoots with Tangi's dad, right? Yes. But they both died. Passed away. Right? Everyone got shot. Right, right, right. Oh my god. So I'm saying but I'm saying this like is... she's still connected to yes. the story. Yeah. Because Chen Wen Hao, yes, we saw the scene where Chen Wen Hao was asking about Tangi's history. But is he asking about is it because he's he actually does... involved he's actually curious about like how does Xiao how does Fei, Xiao Fei Fe... fit in with her and mm. Tangi? Like what's that quadrilateral yeah. quadriparallelogram? Mm-hmm. Sure. Maths. So, if anyone out there is smarter than us. Hong Ye has a scene with Dao Yi in the parking lot. She's, like, driving away. And she basically is like, I can't put it any plainer to you that I like you. I've had a crush on you for years since I was little. Uh, so, he's clearly like, supposed to be older. And... He says, I don't like, think it's like, I think you are just dependent on me. Yeah. Out of habit. He rebuffs her. And she, she says, cries off. and leaves. So that's that's gonna be that's gonna be something for sure. Yeah. And then the last thing is that um Leon goes to the hospital because Xiao Fei is out of surgery. He's back in the general ward. He opens the door. Tangi's already there. He does this like oh and then like closes the door, which is very funny. I love anything Leon does in the show, it's amazing. And then Tangi just walks up, holds Xiao Fei's hand, and that's the end of the episode. A turn, a dramatic turn, a dramatic turn, halfway through. And in Xiao Fei's makeup for this scene at the end of the Bitch. episode, disgusting. Again, the makeup artists was like, "Well, I spent time because I spent time, fu- you know, doing learned- Halloween horror nights." <laughs> Well, I learned how to like, you know, I worked at a morgue for for like two oh years before God. I started working on this. He looks like death. I understand yeah. he just abdo- had major abdominal surgery. I understand he would not look great. But like, oh my God, he the, looks like the walking dead. Yeah. It's so grody. Congrats. You Congrats. did. You, you did a great job. RJ MVP. I mean, it's got to be Hongye, right? She has. She she had so many emotions in this episode. She did. She played she played bantery with Xiao Fei and then she like did. she was very funny. And then like double crossy. Yeah. And then like victim. Villainy, victim. And then villainy. And then like genuine, like, I'm heartbroken. Yeah. She had a lot, a lot to do. She had a lot to do. She had a lot so to I'll do. I'll give it to her because although I still don't really understand like how important is she in the story? Or is she just like an emotional? I think it's just emotional at this point. Just like a, just I've a little. I've given up on figuring out. Just a little, you know, flavor into like the dynamic of this family. Yeah. That it's complicated. Yeah. Everything's interconnected. Yeah. Where were you? Jack- um, I would, I would say Hong Ye. So, because you took her. Um, I'll say Duga, actually. I kind of like what he's doing. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think. I can't, I need to figure out how it pans out. So I guess he's not the mole because if our I don't know. I think this is the extent of what he was trying to do. Just, he was just trying to get Xiao Fei out. <sighs> the big bad is probably just Chen Wen Hao. 
feels so boring. Which is a little boring. Because we already know that. Right. I still am holding out hope that it's Hongye. Again in this episode, when she does, she's like, well, we still have to have a good relationship with the with the mobs. Mm-hmm. I was like, hmm. Oh, why would you say that? Right. I hope I'm right. I'm never right on this stuff. I swear to God, we went and saw Murder on the Orient Express at a local theater, and I I didn't I've never seen Murder on the Orient Express, and I fully was like had no, I was so lost the whole time, and RJ was like I had it figured out like an hour in, and I was like it was the <laughs> last moments of the show that I knew what was going on. <laughs> so I'm hopeful. Uh, I'm hopeful it's Hongye. Just for the purpose of me being Well, this right. is good practice, you know. Yeah, yeah. For when I when we open our PI firm. Yeah. Nova Enterprises. Girl, I cannot believe you told Patreon about the Nova lore. The Nova lore. Honey. The nor. 